The most difficult words to pronounce in the English language revealed, as well as the world's favorite English tongue twisters. Worcestershire, choir, sixth. For some, these words may seem relatively normal and everyday, but to others, they represent an unrivaled linguistic challenge. For almost two weeks, users of the online social platform Reddit have been submitting what they consider to be the hardest English word to pronounce. After more than 5,000 submissions, the message thread has become a fount of difficult vocabulary, with users from across the world sharing their favorites and personal experiences. There are references to popular culture, some very creative tongue twisters, and because of Reddit's point system, a rough consensus has emerged as to which are the hardest. Here are the top 10. Number 10, Rural. Submitted by user Maddie the Dog, Rural appears to cause problems particularly when repeated or put next to a word with similar R sounds. One user says, I cannot say rural juror. Comes out rural juror and sounds like I'm growling. A self-confessed Australian user says, an Aussie would pronounce it rural jura. This one is entirely impossible for me as a German, says another. Squirrel I can manage, but rural can effin' right off. Best tongue twister, I want to be a juror on a rural brewery robbery case. Number 9. Otorhinolaryngologist. One user, going for a word largely on the basis of its length, suggests this medical term for an ear, nose, and throat doctor. But as another points out, that one looks like a beast. But once you break it down, it's pretty easy to say. User Thillycanthrope says, once you know what it is, it's much easier. Otorhinolaryngologist is literally ear, nose, throat scientist. Number eight, Colonel. Submitted by a user who explains, if you know that it's pronounced Colonel, it's easy to pronounce. But if you were new to the English language and didn't know that, you would never pronounce it correctly. Another offers the fun fact that we took the French spelling, spelled and pronounced with R, and the Italian pronunciation, also spelled with an L. Number seven, Penguin. An overt reference to Benedict Cumberbatch. One user offered this popular submission presumably as an excuse to re-watch this video of the actor voicing a BBC documentary on the South Pacific. Other users, presumably sticking up for Penguin Kind, then tried to pronounce Cumberbatch's name. Barely speaks, can't pronounce, Bumper car, clutches burnt, and buffalo custard bath are among the offerings. Number six, sixth. Coincidentally, sixth in our list, this word is rather explicitly criticized as what kind of word is that with an S and X sound? F and that noise. Best tongue twister. The sixth sick shakes, sixth sheeps sick. One user responds, English is my only language, but F and U, this is impossible. Another says, imagine what eighth is like to a non-English speaker. Not one letter is pronounced the way it should be. Number five, isthmus. Submitted presumably due to the difficulty of the S and TH sounds together, it means a narrow strip of land with C on either side that connects two larger land masses. Isthmus is one Reddit user's attempt. Number four, anemone. Entered for consideration by one user who couldn't even spell it, writing anem, amenemy, anemonemony, effin. Best tongue twister? In me, many an enemy, anemone, enema. Helpful advice provided by one user suggested, I'd break it down like anemony. Number three, squirrel. One user says that, from a foreign perspective, squirrel messes with German exchange students like you wouldn't believe. To be fair though, I can't pronounce their word for it either. User Torvon provides the interesting, unverified fact that during the Second World War, both sides apparently used each other's word for this small rodent as a test for spies. 
Interestingly, Torvon says, in World War II, squirrel was used as a shibboleth by the English to detect Germans, and Eicherschen, the German word for squirrel, was used as a shibboleth to detect non-Germans. Number two, choir. User Kaktu submits, as a foreign speaker, choir. Seriously? Why? Someone suggests helpfully that it's like inquire but without the N. And Brightspark Nat27 says, to much popular acclaim, I read that as Enrique and was confused for a solid five minutes. Number one. Worcestershire. The top submission, as one user puts it, to the USA anyway. I've heard a few funny pronunciations, says user HornyToad69. Worcestershire? What's this here? Worcestershire. One user suggests it's that cest in the middle that messes people up. If you break it up like Worcestershire, the pronunciation makes sense. Others suggest similar British place names that aren't pronounced as they are written. Developing a theme like Leicester, Leicestershire, Edinburgh, and Derby, all getting a mention.